You've likely already gotten a notification about filling out the 2020 census. Now community leaders are encouraging everyone, regardless of citizenship status, to take part. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Allie Peters. News 9 Sarah McGrew has you covered. It's crucial that everyone is accounted in the census for a number of reasons, including funding for your community. But there are often barriers when it comes to immigrant communities getting counted. Being counted really, really counts. It counts when it comes to how many representatives you have in Madison and Washington, D.C. And it counts in moments like this in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic. Right now we're suffering the, that situation because there's not enough resources take care of people with COVID-19 because the diff different entities uh, don't get a portion, the right amount of money to have the amount of people that they need to be taking care of something like this pandemic. This is crucial and important as it will also help uh, obviously deviates out the amount of funding that's available for each community here. But there can be challenges when it comes to an accurate count, especially in immigrant communities. Sometimes a low response rate is due to a lack of information. They didn't even know what census was going on. And uh, number two, they didn't know if there was something that you had to be a citizen or not to participate. And sometimes it has to do with fear. Fear is one of the greatest reasons right now. You know, um, people really fear that uh, if they give their information, uh, it's going to be used against them. But the census doesn't ask about citizenship status. And the information you give is confidential. Even if you're undocumented and you were able to put your information in, you wouldn't, your information wouldn't be shared with the Department of you know, Justice or ICE or any other thing. So all your information is kept safe and secure. Whether or not you provide information to the census has a direct impact right here at home. You get an area like Abbotsford where 52% of the students in school are Hispanic right now. Uh, and a good number of of that those families don't get counted, then that's going to reflect in, in the quality of schooling that you have. And being counted helps shape the future of our communities. For more information and resources for filling out the census, you can head to WAOW.com. Reporting for News 9, I'm Sarah McGrew.